Hey, hey, mailbag 30-ish. And it's a good day to be doing a mailbag. I'll put the picture here of what it looks like outside right now. We got snow! So, I'm going to start with probably one of the oldest and tiniest. And there's going to be almost nothing in this one. And I've got micros, I've got A's, and I figured I'd pick up some of these uh, boards that have the C's, since that seems to be the way the world's going. Uh, where I got them is up there, and the price is up there also, hopefully. So let's see. Looks like standard. They got four pins connected. And then the rest are just, whoops, guess I should put some light on the thing. So there's only four pins. Uh, it's only good for power. But, next. Okay. Ooh, another one that fell through the cracks, just like the last uh, mailbag. February 2023. It is now January 2024. So let's see what's in this one. Ooh. There's an empty bag. Okay. And there is a. Oh. I saw this on another video. Let me pull it out. It's for attaching to the syringes to make it easier to um, uh, eject uh, flux. Let me just grab a syringe. So, you got your flux in one of these. You got your needle point there. What you do is you drop this in here like that. Back it off until it'll... Go in, and then you squeeze, and it'll come out the other end. Uh, pretty good idea. Oops. Of course, you would take that one off. Like that. And then you squeeze. Comes out a lot easier than trying to push down on a plunger like this one. I figured it would make my life a bit easier. And if I can remember which video I saw this on, I'll indicate in the description. Next! And no date. Hopefully this one's not a year old. Ah! Some more Pillitzer, yeah, about just one of them. Apply current and cools on one side and gets warm on the other side. I did a horrible video a while back on those and it was a total flop. Still haven't figured out totally why. And another one, let's see, hey, at least this one's. Uh, 11th month of 23, so it's a bit closer. Took 14 days to get here. And cut close to that. And I picked up the C connectors. Okay. Get to the one that's on the end. Uh, the full connector. Uh, I might use these in the future. I start getting into uh, making boards and I'll of course be posting where I got it and how much. Oh, hey, let's not short this bag. There's more in here. And a little, okay, let's see. Insert battery. 
no description. I'll put what it is up there. And okay, it's not going to be any batteries in this probably. I think this is a temperature humidity one. But I'll quit fumbling. And if I've got some batteries, I'll put it on it near the end of the video. And of course, more C's. Open this up. And I picked up. Let me count them. Picked up uh, 30 of them. And. Get the other ones out. So, yes, oops. Boy, that's a poor fit. Oh, there it goes. Oh, that's a tight fit. That's a good fit. So on these ones, it's again uh, four and four. Uh, so basically it's uh, recharging and minimal data, the low end data. Doesn't have all of them connected. But I'll put down that uh, paid for these. These should be... Oh, okay. Um, okay, I had to think for a second. Uh, got 30 of these and 30 of these, uh, so everything uh, tallies up and uh, I can make lots of stuff. Mm. But it's kind of funny, is I've already bought micros and A's, but then of course they decide in Europe that C is the way to go. And I actually kind of agree with them there because these connectors are a lot better. So, off to the big one. Oh, yeah, price stuff there. Oh, and I'm pretty sure I don't have any batteries for that. They're on order. And the big one. From Amazon. Another cable. Better be a meter this time. Okay, let's start with the cable. Nothing fancy. It's just a C to C. Uh, I prefer using uh, the C connector on my um, laptop when I'm transferring files from my uh, cell phone and we have a meter what I want to do is make my own uh, little weather station but then I figured how do I calibrate for the wind speed so I picked up a digital anemeter yeah all right even though English is my only language, I can barely use it. Okay, it comes with happy. Thank you. Okay. A uh, nice little uh, CD with hopefully the software DE. Is that Denmark? Okay. Let's open this up. Oh, right off the bat, this thing's fairly hefty. And I'll need to open this up. Came with batteries. Let me grab uh, my screwdriver. So I fight off these batteries. I like these things. Okay. 
Let's open this thing up. Let's fumble with it. Look at instructions. Nah. Maybe I should look at instructions. That thing's really tight. After a lot of wiggling, it finally came out. And what do we have here? Long life. No mercury. No cadmium. Huh. And these things are supposed to work. Okay. And put it all back together. Now, let's see. Power. Let's see how much wind I can generate. <clears throat> oh. Wind's supposed to be coming from the other side, I think. Yeah, not too bad. At some point, what I'll do is I'll uh, go for a drive, get to a known speed, and have the missus hold this out the window and hopefully she won't drop it. Uh, but now I've got a meter for determining wind speed. So when I set up one of those little cup uh, type ones that rotates around, I can then calibrate it against uh, this. Because if you're going to do a DIY, might as well at least have it reasonably accurate. And... Uh, that's it for this video because I think I better go outside and start shoveling. I'll do a bit more on this on another video.